guys welcome back to my channel and get ready because this is probably going to be a very long video it is about 1 a.m. right now and Alex and I are leaving to go on a trip to a family reunion tomorrow and this is my third video that I've shot since sitting down at midnight and we are going to be doing a plan with me we're gonna be back planning for the week of my son's first birthday because this was a memory planning spread that I just Wanted to make a video on and I just haven't had a chance and really I don't even have time right now. I should be sleeping, but we're going to do this because I'm in the mood and it's not going to be a voiceover plan with me. It's going to be a live talking one because I'm just in the mood for that right now. Sometimes I'm in the mood for voiceover. Sometimes I'm in the mood to chit chat and right now at one o'clock in the morning, it's a chit chat mood. So I did come out with a exclusive art collection for his birthday, which is Baby Shark themed. His party was Baby Shark themed because it is his favorite thing in the entire world. So I'm gonna show you what all came with the kit, flip through the pages, and then we're gonna get started. So these are the full boxes. This is available on my shop. Bright check boxes, love that. Alternative boxes, functional stickers, deco, loads of colors going on, love it so much. And then the Lux also came with the Fashion Girls, and then the glitter headers you could add on a la carte, fashion, boy and girl babies. And I'm doing both because he had a play date with a couple of girl babies later on in the weekend. I'll show you once I get there. So I do have both of those. Then I did pull some character stickers. I pre-pulled them for the spread to make it a little bit quicker. And then I do have a big old hunk here of stuff that I made. This might be a little bit crazy and I'm planning on doing this for the next couple of spreads and then kind of reevaluating whether this is something that I want to continue doing. But I mentioned on my Facebook group that I was in the mood to do this and everyone was like, yeah, you should do it. Um, but it might be a little crazy to you guys. You guys might think it's just nuts. But anyway, what I did was I typed out and then cut and foiled all of my type throughout the week because this is a memory planning spread so I do know everything I did these days already it's not like I'm planning out as I go and kind of like changing my plans so I decided that I could do this so um what I did was I went ahead and typed out all of the like text that's going to go in the spread and cut them print them and cut them on clear sticker paper and I did it in both black and in hollow which is the foil color I'm using because I don't know I just wanted it in both I don't know if I'm gonna like alternate it or kind of pick and choose or if I'm gonna do all hollow I just didn't know so I just went ahead and like did that so that I had them and then also I went ahead and print and cut some pictures of my baby. I think I'm only using this one during, no, I'm using these two during this spread. And then these two are for future spreads that I'm gonna do plan with me on, but probably not tonight. I don't know, maybe I'll be in the mood after I do this one. We will see. I do have a Diet Coke here. It is like in a goblet. Like, look at that. It's nuts, I know. Um, so maybe, I don't know. I can sleep in the car tomorrow, assuming that James is like being a good boy and not throwing a fit not the car, the RV. We are taking the RV. It's going to be a two day drive. So, um, I can sleep cause Alex is driving. I can't drive the RV. Um, so yeah, plus my, like, I'm waiting for my laundry to be done cause I have to put it in the dryer. So anyway, I am in a very talkative mood. So who knows? Maybe I'll want to do another one, but we're going to start with baby shark and go from there. So I have those. I do need to pull out some foil stickers you guys are going to see like a little sneak peek into my foil but i do need to like totally reorganize this so where did i put i had all of my like bougie boxes from scribble prints co and hollow oh they're here these are hollow bougie boxes full boxes half cut headers and regular glitter headers in the hollow those are from scribble prints co so i'm gonna use those oh i also made myself some well pfft, made them um my girls the sticker girls made me some um day extenders i wanted to use one in the spread which is something that scrubble prince co came up with she sells them you can get them from her but they're basically <laughs> my girls accidentally did them on clear paper instead of white paper because i didn't specify and everything else i was having them cut for me was on clear paper so they just assumed which makes sense so i'm gonna see if they work thankfully i'm only planning on doing one in this spread 
So, um, yeah, they're on clear paper. I'm sure they'll still work. I don't even know if I did these right because I've never actually tested it. But anyway, okay. Um, all right, so I think we can just get started, I guess. I don't even know where to start. I feel like very overwhelmed. Let me know if you think I should drink Diet Coke and film playing with me videos every single night. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. So you can see what's going on. Oh, I need to get my um, foiled hollow date numbers out from there as well. I am planning on reorganizing my sticker collection when I get back from this trip. And when I do, I will do a video on it. It will be a real, real fun. I'm actually like really looking forward to it. I'm already feeling a bit like, why am I not voicing over this? Cause I just feel like there's like gonna be a lot that I'm gonna wanna edit, but whatever. I cannot be bothered right now. So um, I posted on Facebook and asked for some questions. Um, James's birthday was on the 21st. My son, it was his first birthday, which is the day that summer begins. Are you actively looking for a house in Nashville? So we are not actively looking for a house in Nashville yet. And the reason for that is that our house in California has not sold. It has only been in the, on the market for a very short amount of time. It didn't go up on the market right away. I think a lot of people thought that it did. We had some work that we wanted to do to it before putting it on the market. And also it took us longer to move out than we thought it was going to. Alex ended up going back to the house after we had like come to Tennessee to finish everything. Alex's studio's in LA and um, we had some, like the big furniture items we were gonna have movers do and he ended up going back and meeting with the movers and like handling all of that. And then on top of that, he decided that he wanted to do a lot of the things that needed to be fixed in the house himself, which he didn't have to do. Originally, we were gonna get it all professionally done, but he is pretty handy when it comes to that stuff. And he decided that he wanted to like paint certain things and like fix up some holes and stuff, I don't know. Um, and we also got like some of the carpet redone. We did get that done like professionally. Alex would not know how to replace carpet or he probably would know how, but we just had it done. And then we got it staged and everything. So, I mean, the moral of the story, I feel like I'm rambling a lot on this, but the point I'm trying to make is that it took us a long time to actually get the house on the market. And then, and by the way, right now, I'm just filling out my sidebar kind of willy nilly right now. I don't even know if this is gonna like fit perfectly, but I'm kind of going a little bit in like color order, kind of. Um, I'm marking important for like important tasks. I'm doing my two habit trackers. I like to mark my vitamins and then also healthy eating because I have been trying to eat healthier lately and I've been doing a pretty good job with it, so I'm pretty happy. And then I'm gonna put one of James's pictures. I'm gonna do this one with a rubber ducky. His dad got him this like rubber ducky family that is like a mom rubber ducky. And then she has three babies that like go in her back and it's very, very cute. And um, I actually used this same picture in my birthday spread here um, in black and white. And I printed this off on my Polaroid zip. Um, and that's why it's a little bit bigger and it's like actually really glossy. It's like a real photo instead of like a sticker like this one is, and I didn't realize that I was using the same picture when I decided to pick this one, but I just felt like it worked with the colors of the spread so well in color there, so I wanted to reuse it. He's just so freaking cute with his little rubber ducky, and he has like a yellow pacifier in his mouth, and it's just very cute. We actually went to Nashville. This was before we actually even moved out of our house. We went to Nashville, and we spent um, like four, four days going house hunting with a real estate agent and we looked at so many houses and that is what really solidified the idea to us that we definitely wanted to move to Nashville. We saw so many houses in so many neighborhoods and so many areas that we were like, we could just see ourselves living here and growing our family here. By the way, because there's eight colors and there's only seven days, I'm doing all the colors except this green here. I just picked my least favorite color and decided to not use it. What ended up happening is by the time we got our act together and actually got moved out of our house, all of those houses that we had seen that we were like really in love with had sold already. We're kind of protecting our hearts by not letting ourselves fall in love with homes that are not going to be 
available by the time we want to purchase. And so we are not, I'm not even really like looking on Zillow. Every now and then I look on there just to see like what's available, but I'm trying not to like really let myself hone in on a house that I want. I know I'm not really explaining as I go with why I'm placing these boxes here. I'm just kind of going randomly, except on Sunday I am doing a little brunette baby girl because we had a play date with one of my friends and her baby, and her baby's this little brunette girl. She's so freaking cute. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the next line of glitter headers across. Question number two, what has been your favorite memory with James so far? I feel like I have so many, that's a really hard one, but I have one that stands out in my mind, and this might be like kind of a corny one. He was like a little tiny baby, and we were having a rough night. He was just really fussy. He was really small. I feel like he was only, he wasn't smiling yet. Um, so he was like only a couple of months old, I guess. And we were laying in the bed and he was having a rough night and I was just cuddling him. And I looked down, I realized he wasn't crying anymore. And I looked down at him and he was in the crook of my arm looking up at me with the most like the strongest expression of love I have ever seen. And he was smiling at me. And it was like, I think it was the first time I ever saw him smile. And it was a moment between us. Like he was looking in my eyes. This sounds so corny. But he was staring at me like in my eyes and just smiling. This biggest, most heartwarming, like loving, smile and stare and it was just a moment like it was literally a moment I remember the next day going downstairs and I was having breakfast with my mom and I told her about it and she was like well there's gonna be many moments in life where he's not smiling at you and I was just like what the heck mom I started crying in the moment which is you know postpartum I was being a little nuts but it was just such a special moment so anyway that's the that's what comes to mind for that question what is your favorite thing to do to relax I read every single night before bed, but um, my favorite thing to do if I just have some uninterrupted time where I don't have anyone else there, it's just me, and there's nothing there like distracting me, my favorite thing to do is to um, watch a TV show on my laptop and play a game on my phone at the same time. I don't know why that particular combination of like playing a game on my phone and watching something. I think because when I'm watching something with another person, I feel like I have to be paying attention because you're like hanging out with someone as you're watching. Like if I'm watching with Alex, I don't necessarily want to like be on my phone because I want to be spending like quality time with him, if that makes sense. So when I'm by myself, it's such a treat to be able to like watch something, like half watch it though, because actually you're playing a game on your phone. And my favorite game at the moment is a game called Cooking Fever. I'm obsessed with it and I'm actually like kind of bitter about it, kind of salty about it a little bit because what happened was, um, I don't even know if I should say this. Actually, I don't think it really matters. Um, they actually reached out to me for a sponsorship on my main channel and they emailed me and they were just like, did I do that right? No, this is supposed to be pink. They emailed me and they uh, were just like, you know, we're this iPhone game and we would love to work with you, blah, blah, blah. So because I'm not a sellout, even though people think that sometimes I am, I'm really not, I downloaded the game so that I could play it first before getting back to them to make sure that I actually even liked it, you know? And um, so I downloaded it on my own phone and I ended up starting to play it and I loved it. And I wrote back to them and I was like, I genuinely love this game. Like I truly love it. I'm having so much fun. I would love to work with you. I don't know why this isn't working. Like this is like overshooting the bottom box. I must have like lined this up somewhat incorrectly. So I'm gonna raise this glitter header. I have undo, but I don't think I need it. I think I can just do this and put this bottom box down first and then kind of line the glitter header up over it a little bit. Um, anyway, okay, so I 
wrote to him like I said and I was just like I love this game I would love to work with you guys like what are you thinking and they responded that they had gone ahead and like someone responded first probably someone who didn't actually download and play the game for a while to make sure that they liked it and so they had gone with someone else well meanwhile I'm over here like freaking addicted to the game the worst part about it is I've actually spent money on this game because Ugh, I'm really like not a believer in spending money on like iPhone games. I, I just think it's like stupid. I really do. I think it's a waste of money, but I did on this because it's just, it's my relaxing time and it's not much money. It's just a couple of dollars like ever that I've spent on it and it got me a lot of gems and then now I'm able to play and like up, like update all my like restaurants and stuff and I just really like it. Okay. Don't judge me. Um, but I just think it's like really funny in like a not very funny way that I really should have made money off of it because it was a sponsorship opportunity and instead I spend money on it. So yeah, there's that. You guys, I was yabbering on and I totally forgot the fact that this was going to be my um, expandable box or whatever it's called. My extend day extender box. So I'm going to have to take this off and... It might come off nicely because I just put it down, but I might have to go get my undo, which is in the other room, and my husband is fast asleep. No, it's going to come off. He wouldn't mind, though. I mean, to be completely honest, he would not mind. But we're going to try this. I, I've never done a day extender. I don't even know if it's going to work, especially because it is on clear paper. I have to think about this. How does this work? How does this work? Okay, I got it. So you put it down like this. It is weird because it's on clear paper. This is like not ideal. And then it folds back down like that. And then you put this on this side. This is very strange. It would be better on white paper for sure, but this should work. Oh my gosh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, because apparently they flatten over time, like once you have like folded it and like had your planner laying on it, so. Okay, that's kind of cool. Cool, so then I have like extra space that I can write on. So then I have this um, hollow happy birthday overlay sheet. It's the same one that I use in my birthday spread, which is here. I used it for like my own birthday spread. It's the same overlay but I used it in silver on that spread and I feel like um, hollow is going to be perfect for this one. So I'm gonna do the balloon over this balloon box here because I just think that's cute to have like the layered balloon look. So we're doing that and then we're gonna do, let's see, we'll do this one. It's like has pattern on half of it over the baby shark box here oh my gosh it's gonna be so freaking cute i already know this spread is gonna turn out so cute because all these things are just so freaking cute then i'm gonna do the happy birthday over this this day extender situation is like really cool but also like really weird i don't know i kind of like oh it's already like sticking better why Oh, it was just kind of stuck. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do this frame over, I think, his cake to celebrate the one-year-old cake. And if you're using this um, collection for someone who's not turning one, there is the box that doesn't have a number on it at all. So you could use it for any year. At this point, I have my base down. And so now I'm just going to start with the day-by-day -day planning. And this is a memory spread, so it's not really a planner. It's more like what I did each day. I have really been leaning towards this style of planning lately and doing it as a memory planning after the week has passed. That way I can add in pictures of things that happened that week and really like go back and I feel like I can remember exact things that happened that I would have never otherwise remembered just by having a layout of how the day went. Like tiny things that might not seem special in the moment, years later when you look back, cause I keep all my planners 
are so special and I've noticed that when I look back on my planners that are a few years older tiny things that I put in that I probably didn't think were special or notable in the moment seem special to me now and so I'm kind of planning with that in mind like looking back on this years in the future kind of more like a scrapbook and less like how I used to plan I think that the check boxes and all the to-do list and stuff that's great if you're planning as you go or if you're using your planner on a day-to-day -day basis but I think for my Erin Condren, it's gonna be memory spreads, especially going into the new planner because this is gonna be the last spread that I do in this planner, I'm pretty sure. And then I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna move on to the new planner and do my July 4th collection next as a plan with me. But I think that I'm gonna have just like a pencil and minimal sticker as like my day-to-day to-do -day to list. And in that, I can jot down all of these like special things to then go back and put in my memory spread at the end of the week. So that's kind of like where my mind is, is at with that. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start on Monday the 17th. It is already a month later. It's July 17th, Wednesday, July 17th at 1.31 in the morning as I'm filming this. And the next question is, would you want more kids? And the answer to that is yes, 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 yes. Alex and I, definitely for sure want more kids we honestly we got baby fever at seven months postpartum which I know is nuts my baby is now almost 13 months old we think we want three but what we're planning on doing this is like we've talked about this obviously you can't really plan this out completely because you just never know how life is gonna work out but what we're thinking is we want three kind of close in age, like maybe two years apart each. And then we're gonna take a little bit of a break because originally we wanted between two and three. I mean, we wanted between three and four. But we we just lately have been feeling like three is a really good number. And then wait and possibly have like a second round of kids like six years later, maybe have two more. I don't know. We absolutely want more kids. Yes. What aspect of your business has been the most challenging? Okay. I know that answer for sure because it's a very specific answer. And that is my biggest challenge is balancing. And it's not necessarily my work-life balance, although that would be something I think too that I struggle with a little bit. But um, for me, it would be work balance in terms of trying to keep up with everything that I want to do on a weekly basis with my work. I do try to do new releases every single week. Lately, I have been trying to do new release videos every week. That doesn't always happen. It's not going to happen this week because we are leaving to go on that trip. And some of the artwork that I'm releasing this week, I actually don't even have yet. Like one collection's custom and she's like still working on it. I should have it soon. This is so pretty with the glitter headers in between. You probably can't see it on camera. That's so frustrating that you can't see it on camera because it's so pretty in real life. Let me see if I can get my phone flash to show you. My phone fell on the floor. If you're wanting the look of bougie boxes, but you like want to do it more cheaply, you can just do these glitter headers in between. And it's so freaking pretty. Let's see, can you see it? Oh, you can kind of see it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty in real life. Just the little peak of glitter where the white space is, is so freaking pretty. And it makes it no white space, but still like has that look of white space. It's just the best of both worlds. Like it is the first way of planning that I've seen since I started planning with stickers where I'm like, that is what I want to do in my, like that, it just speaks to me. Like it's what I want. I'm whiting out this line just because it's going to poke through the glitter washi. Yeah, I just, I have like a, so much stuff that I want to do every single week and it is really frustrating to me when I can't do it all and keep up with it all every single week. So that is the most challenging, I put that too low, the most challenging part of my job because ideally what I would love to do is do a new release video every week and then also a plan with me every week and also have new releases like three of them every week and also release foil every week and also do a teeny Tuesday every week. It just doesn't work out like that. I, I don't have enough hours in the day and also like trying to be a good mom and just, I just don't have enough hours in the day. That's what it comes down to. That is the most frustrating part of my job. 
you know what as I'm like doing this I'm realizing that this really like might not be very fun for you guys because I'm so rambly and like disorganized so I can go back to voiceover style in my next plan with me if you guys want it just write me a comment below I will not get my feelings hurt and I will do it that way for you so we're gonna put this down I could probably get another question going this down and another glitter header I definitely I pulled out a, a bunch of bougie boxes for this spread but I'm actually really feeling the look of doing this with the glitter headers instead because it would have taken probably three sheets of bougie boxes three sheets of four to put the boxes down in each thing and I'm only like I'm not even halfway done with one sheet of the glitter headers this is not going to fit because I wanted to do this and a yellow strip here I could have fit it if I had like spaced these less far apart let me see if I can move some of these up this is still one of my first times doing a spread in this style though so I do think that like planning is a learning curve and I was really comfortable with the old way that I planned and um yeah that barely works but whatever I was really comfortable with the old way that I planned and it is hard when you change up your style you know you kind of have to relearn how everything fits and so it's probably going to take a couple of spreads for me to get comfortable with the new way that everything fits oh my gosh look at that this is like the first time that I'm actually like looking at this that is freaking beautiful all right the next question is does your mom and sister use a planner you guys I do not have anyone in my life who uses a planner my mom and my sister Blair have tried in the past they've given it a go and it, they just haven't stuck with it it hasn't been something that they're like they get excited about it for like a hot second but it's not something that they're super passionate about that they actually like stick with it's crazy too because none of my sticker employees none of the glam girls that work at the shop plan either both my California office and my Tennessee office none of them do the next question is thoughts on long-distance relationships also how did you know that Alex was the one so I think that long-distance relationships are so 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 hard I really have only had one I really have only had one long-distance relationship and it was actually Alex so it was the person that I ended up marrying and the only reason that I did it was because I knew as much as you can know. Oh my gosh, I did this wrong. This is supposed to be on Friday. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I did that. It is on the day extender, so let's see. Oh my gosh, look at that peeling up. Oh, oh no, ah! We met when we were 23 years old and we met through mutual friends who were dating at the time. His best friend and my best friend were dating and Alex was on tour. Um, he's a musician, he was on tour and he was playing at Downtown Disney at House of Blues in Anaheim. And I lived in California. He was living in New York at the time, but he was on tour. My friend and I decided to go see him in concert. She actually had, so she was dating one of his best friends and we had spent a lot of time, me and my friend, at the beach that summer. She had come with me to Destin for a while and our like anthem of that summer was my husband's soundtrack, his original songs. And we, I didn't know I'm gonna put down a glitter header there. I didn't know what he looked like. I didn't know anything about him. It was just the playlist that she had playing like as we were getting ready to go out to the bars and like everything. When we were putting our makeup on, his soundtrack was the soundtrack. Of, we called it the soundtrack of our summer. You know how you always have like a certain CD or whatever back in the day that you always had playing um, when you were getting ready, like your favorite album or whatever. Anyway, it was his for the summer. So when we got back that fall, or no, it was, it was actually the following spring, it was February. So we had hung out and like listened to his stuff the summer before. And then um, th that February he was on tour and he was gonna be playing in downtown Disney in Anaheim in Orange County. And we were living in LA at the time. And so we decided to go and see him 
in concert and I met him that night and we started dating pretty immediately and then he was still living in New York and I was living in um, West Hollywood at the time. We ended up breaking up because he was not ready to settle down into anything serious yet. He was in the middle of a tour and then he had an international tour planned for after that. He was on an American tour and then he was going straight into an international tour and he basically was not at a place in his life in any way, shape or form where he could have any sort of relationship that wasn't long distance and it wasn't going to change anytime soon. Like his work and his like tour life at that point in time at age 23 was more important than settling down and that was just how it was back then and it was okay because I also was not ready to like settle down you know at that point in my life either yet so we broke up and the reason we broke up is because I think we talk about it now and we both I don't think we like realized it as much at the time but we think that we both realized that like we were the one for each other but it just wasn't the right timing and uh, we got back together about a year later and we've been together ever since. So how I knew he was the one, it's like hard to say. He's like, first of all, he's like my best friend. Um, I get along with him better than anyone I've ever known. I never get annoyed with him, hardly ever. Um, I can be with him for endless days and days and days. I mean, we're married to so like my whole life and not get annoyed with him. And I just want to be around him all the time. Like that's, that's how I knew. I just wanted to be around him all the time. And I had never really felt that way. I don't think about anyone. Even previously when I like thought I was in love, it wasn't the same feeling. It just felt different. I just knew. So as far as long distance relationships go, I think if it is someone who you actually might or want to spend the rest of your life with, it's 100% worth it. If it's a temporary thing and you guys are both on the same page with where you want your future to go, I think blindly being long distance with someone who doesn't have any sort of like desire to change that and like relocate to where you are or have you relocate to where that they are it's just a waste of time but if you're someone who's if you guys are really serious about making it work it's just not the right time in that very moment it's definitely worth doing and it's it can work like it led to marriage for me um we were long distance for probably a year after getting back together like the second time after we took a break for a year. Okay, so now that I have all my base down, I'm gonna go through and I'm going to actually like fill out the day-to-day -day stuff. And for that, I'm going to like talk you through it. So I'm not gonna be answering any more questions unless, I don't know, maybe that will change, but probably not. Um, okay, so for Monday the 17th, the first thing I did, and I think I am gonna do this, do the hollow version. Yeah, oh my gosh, yes. Okay, the first thing I did in the morning is I had to meet with movers at the storage unit. And the reason for that is because, like I said earlier in the video, Alex had gone back to LA and had met with the movers to pack up all of our, um, all of our like big furniture. And then he actually was still in LA because his music studio is still in LA. And so he wanted to work for about a week at his studio and like film some videos and record some music. He produces for other people too. He just had work he wanted to do there. And so I was here in Tennessee. So I went and met with the movers and I took little and we hung out there for like most of the day because it took a really long time to unload the trucks. There were actually two trucks and so they unloaded them and I hung out there and then while I was there I did an Instagram Q&A on, um, on my main Instagram because I was really bored. I was literally just sitting there and then when I got home I worked and I have a work sticker that I want to layer this with so I'm going to put this down here, this is a Teeny and Bop work sticker, and then I'm gonna layer the hollow work on top. 
So it looks like that. Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I really wasn't sure about doing this whole like text, like typing out everything. Honestly, like it is kind of a lot of work to do this every week, but it's so pretty. It might be worth it, especially because I'm doing like memory spread. It might just be worth it. Like, honestly, I might keep doing this. I'm not gonna say I'm not. Um, for this, I wanna do a Target bag. And I didn't pull a Target bag, I should have. Let me see if I can pull one really fast. So we did go to, I went to Starbucks um, later in that afternoon because I had a lot of work that I needed to get done. Do I have Target in here? I should. There it is, yes, I have one left. One lone Target sticker there. Um, I had a lot of work I needed to do and because I had been with the movers for a lot longer than I thought I was going to have to be, I ended up going to Starbucks to get a drink to keep me up so that I could keep working. And then I went to Target. I forget what I had to get. I know I had to get some stuff for a little. I think he was out of like diapers and stuff, like just really basic things that you have to have. And then I remember James wasn't like he was kind of fussy that night, and so we ended up giving him a really long bath. I mean, he gets baths pretty much every night. Every now and then, a night will be skipped, but pretty much every night. But this one, I just remember, was like a long bath. Like, he had a lot of toys in there, and I just was not rushing him. I was just letting him do his thing. So we did a Toffee Bananas um, character sticker there. That in the hollow is freaking beautiful. Like, I can't. Okay. And I think it would be pretty in black too, actually. I just like, since I have it in hollow, like why not? And this spread honestly like kind of calls for it because it's just so bright and so pretty. So then Tuesday morning, I am gonna put a need more sleep sticker down because I was so tired this morning because I had stayed up really late working the night before because I had to I just had a lot of stuff that I needed to get done and I had been with those movers for so long. And I had had that coffee kind of late in the day. So I have this insomnia teeny and friends and it just says need more sleep. I was just so tired that morning. I still remember that. In the middle, I'm gonna put mystery ships because our um, June mystery shipped on this day. I'm gonna put a playtime with James sticker. And I don't have a um, character sticker pulled for that. I think because this typing is really big there. So playtime with James. And I remember on this day, remember I said he wasn't feeling well the night before? This day I ended up being, me and him were both just like lumps. Like we were so tired, both of us. I think he was having a growth spurt or something. He's also been teething really badly. He was just kind of having a rough day. And I was exhausted because I had worked so much the night before. So we literally like hung out and snuggled like the whole day. So that's why I ended up putting like full boxes on this day because we, I really have nothing else to write for this day. I worked some, but mostly like on my computer, but mostly I just hung out with James like the entire day. So then on Wednesday, Alex came back in town. He was in LA, like I had said, working on his music stuff. So he got back in the morning. So I'm gonna put Alex back in town on this strip. And then he got freaking attacked by a swarm of bees. I'm not even kidding. There was a, I posted this on Instagram, but there was a huge hive on our porch that we weren't aware of. And they were, what were they called? Bald faced hornets or something like that. We had the exterminator come out immediately. They attacked Alex on the porch. He got several stings and I was, I mean, we were both just so happy that it wasn't James that got attacked. Like, I mean, obviously I, we weren't happy that Alex got attacked, but we ended up having the exterminator come out and he immediately knew what they were. It said they were the most aggressive bees that can be found in this area. We were just really unlucky. Like that was just not, not fun for Alex. Um, so what I did was I, okay, these wacky holidays from Once More With Love, 
I have a bunch of older ones that I never ended up using and I was going to just de-stash them but I decided to keep them because I was like they're just so random like the sticker selection and maybe one day I'll need like a really random sticker and you guys I looked through my stash and I found a freaking bumblebee which is perfect so I'm gonna slice the part out that says honeybee day it was definitely not a honeybee that attacked him it was definitely a freaking bald-faced hornet and I have this sticker also from Once More With Love. It's from her like Need More Space Overwhelmed sampler. And I'm gonna put the honeybee like over the guy. And actually I should have like, I should have layered these better because this bee's kind of big. But I'm gonna basically like have the bee over the guy and the guy's like looking all like, like being stung. I thought that was cute, so. And then we ended up going to Walgreens because Alex was, he needed Benadryl like immediately. We called my dad and we were like, what do we do? Alex got attacked by a bunch of bees. And he's not allergic to bees, thank goodness. But he still was like having a reaction as you do when you get stung by a bunch of bees. So we went to Walgreens, we got him Benadryl. I remember that trip because James was like throwing a fit in the car. He was like so unhappy to be in the car. And um, this is what I mean by like when you write memory spreads, it's a month later right now and I'm remembering that exact trip to Walgreens and the fact that like James was being a little tear during that trip. I would never probably remember that moment ever again, but because I'm like writing everything in my memory spread, I'm like having all of these memories. I don't know, it's very nice. I mean, that in particular is like not the best memory, but in general, it's nice to like be able to remember things. So then when I came back, Alex and like hung out with Little and just like he was really sleepy and Little his was like st still having a growth spurt or something was still more sleepy than usual. So they hung out and took a nap and I cleaned a bunch of stuff. So I just put clean stuff there. So that is the first page done. I actually did not write in, like I didn't type out my sidebar things here, like my vitamins and my healthy eating and my important things. And I should have because it would look better, especially since I'm doing no pen for this. Um, I might actually go back and do that and fill that in later, but that's this page done. So then flipping over to this page. So the first thing that I did on Thursday, I knew that the weekend was gonna be pretty packed with James's birthday activities. And so I knew that I needed to work my butt off on Thursday. So the first thing I did when I woke up in the morning, I made my coffee and I had a design day. So this is a wonton in a million computer sticker and I'm gonna layer it with the design day hollow foil. So it looks like that, super pretty. I also did a post drop and I actually am not writing like every single post drop that I do in my planner. We do do post drops um, usually three times a week. We'll normally do them on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But if I do it personally, then I'm gonna write it in my planner. If not, like if the girls do it, which they normally do, I'm not gonna put it in my planner. So normally I'll just do it like one day a week. It really just depends on like what's happening. And then I'm going to put grocery shop because I went to the grocery store. And I do have a grocery sticker that comes in my kit. And so I'm gonna use that. And we're gonna put it on this side. We're gonna go like that, grocery shop. And then I did another Starbucks run because I knew it was just gonna be a really long work day. I was ready for it. I knew it was gonna happen. And then in the evening, Alex and I decided to move our mattress to the floor. And the reason we did that is because James had learned how to get off the bed. Well, he thought he learned it, but he was like kind of falling off the bed. It was really like sketchy and we just, we did not trust him to not tumble off the bed. So we decided to move our mattress to the floor. He does sleep with us, we co-sleep, we're okay with it. A lot of people have asked me why we're not crib training him, especially if he's like getting out of the bed now, like why would you put your bed on the floor? Why would you not just crib train him? Right now, like we are in between houses, which is like really temporary. We're living with my parents. We don't have a crib set up. Yes, we could set up a crib, but he sleeps with us. We're okay with it. We love co-sleeping. So it just is what it is. But this literally is us in the bed every night. It's little kicking me off the bed and Alex sleeping totally soundly. So you move the mattress to the floor. We got rid of the bed frame in the bed. We just put it up against the wall in a spare bedroom that isn't being used. 
and it's been wonderful because he can get off the bed now without hurting himself he can get back on we have like a little play area set up and the entire room is baby proofed so he can actually get off the bed while we're still sleeping and go and like play with his little toys we have a play mat set up with all of his toys and then he can come back to bed it's wonderful we don't have to worry about him falling off it's been the best thing and then i forgot but i also put facebook sneak peeks here because even though my new releases are normally on thursdays this particular week it got pushed to friday because I don't remember. I think it was because he, uh, James wasn't feeling well in this part of the week. And so I just didn't get as much work done on these two days as I meant to. And so even though I busted butt this day, it just, it didn't happen in time. So it was pushed one day. So I sneak peeked the kits on Facebook that night. And then on this day, I do have full boxes going all the way down because this was his first birthday. So we have the number one cake there. We have the happy birthday overlay there. And then we have a picture of him that was taken on his birthday. We had a pool party and that's him looking all happy in his little swimsuit on the side of the pool. And so I decided to do this day extender so that I can actually put things because I did work a half day this day because my new releases went live. This did not go on super well. I had to work a little bit during the day. So I'm actually, I forgot to put these down when I was doing the, the thing before. And I basically just got up in the morning. I made my coffee and um, while I was sipping on it, I made all my releases go live, put it on Instagram and Facebook that my stuff was live, and then I decided to film a new release video really fast because people weren't here yet for the party and James was with my mom and I had a second to do it and I was just like, I'm just gonna do this. Also on this day, my summer mystery kit went live, which was really exciting, so I'm gonna put that down too. It was available for um, 48 hours only and then it was a limited edition. It was very beautiful. I did an unboxing video if you haven't seen it. So I'm going to put new releases and summer mystery there. I started my non-work portion of the day and we had a pool party. I should put a bougie box there actually. I need to order more of these from her. I need to like bulk order them because obviously I can make my own. Um, I'm a sticker shop, but I'm going to get hers. So here I'm gonna put um, pool day. And for this I have a paper and milk um, pool noodle sticker, if it will focus. It's so freaking cute. Look at it, it's a little marshmallow with a um, noodle. So cute. So I'm gonna layer that little sticker with my pool day with the family foil. That could have been a little smaller. It's kind of big. We had some friends come over. Some of our friends that have like a little baby girl. She's so cute. I posted a little video of her on Instagram that day. Um, her name is Natalia and she was gorgeous. She looked like a little Cabbage Patch kit. Like she was so freaking pretty. And um, all of their friends came and we just had a pool day and we just hung out in the pool pretty much the entire day. My grandmother's also in town. She's actually living with us right now. And by us, I mean she's living at my parents' house and we're also living at my parents' house until our um, house sells. So we spent the entire day in the pool. We ended up getting KFC. We had fried chicken. Oh my gosh, I really should have put that in and I should have used one of my new Toffee Bananas fried chicken stickers because like when else are you gonna use fried chicken stickers if you don't use them when you eat fried chicken? And then James opened his gifts and we did the cake smash and the cake smash was like kind of anticlimactic because um james didn't really want anything to do with smashing the cake like he just wasn't very interested he didn't really care you guys i need a day extender on my day extender because i need to put a fried chicken sticker in here somewhere what is a girl to do when she needs to mark her fried chicken and there's literally nowhere to put it in here? Oh well, so sad. So sad that I can't have my fried chicken sticker in there. So then on Saturday, I worked in the morning. I remember I answered customer service messages and I prepped a bunch of labels for shipment on Monday. So I have this um, Toffee Bananas um, work sticker with a work oil over it and then it was the last day that you could get my summer mystery kit the sale ended that day so I'm gonna put that down the last day to get summer mystery and then 
One of my best girlfriends from my childhood came over and brought her little girl. So I'm going to put play date with James. And that is why I used this box here is for her, even though it ended up not being on the same day because I wanted to do the cake smash too. There were just too many boxes in this. So I ended up doing, putting it there, but whatever. Um, so she came over and it was so much fun. This is like coming off the edge here. So I'm going to cut this. It's just the explanation point, but it shows on the other side of the, of the box. Take that off. She was my very, very first friend when I first moved to Tennessee, when I was in middle school. And she stayed one of my, I mean, to this day, she's like one of my closest friends. She was a bridesmaid in my wedding. I love her to death. And she has a little girl baby who's only a couple months younger than James. And so they came over. It was my first time meeting her in person because she doesn't live here anymore and neither do I. Well, I do right now, but I haven't, you know, until recently. She was just the cutest little baby ever. So she came over and James had a second play date in a row because he had had that other baby come the day before for his party. So it was just, oh, that little exclamation point somehow made it into that sticker. How the heck did that happen? Um, so we had two play dates in a row with little girl babies and it was very cute. And I posted a video of her on Instagram too. If you don't follow my Instagram, you're missing out on all of these. What the heck? You know what? I'm going to take this whole thing up. And actually now I feel like I need to replace this whole washi because it got all janky. So I'm just going to put this over it. And then luckily I have a backup sheet of these stickers in case something of that very nature happens. So I'm going to pull my second clean stuff that doesn't have a rogue explanation point, exclamation point. And then, okay, so I cleaned stuff after they left and then I did laundry. And then I remember I went to bed early that night because I was exhausted from two days of basically like constant, um, I need like a bed sticker for that, like a bed early. I guess I could use this little one that comes in the kit, this little bed. Just from like a lot of entertaining and stuff, two days in a row. That was Saturday and then Sunday, the 23rd was a really, really chilled out day for the entire day. My whole family, I think was just like feeling very like, I don't know, we had had two pool days kind of in a row. We were out in the sun a lot and we were just very chill. The weather was not super great this day. We couldn't have another pool day. So we decided to go, my parents have a movie theater room because they're freaking so lucky. It's the best thing ever. We ended up going to the movie theater room as a family and we just binged. I think we binged the first like few episodes of Big Brother, however many were out at the time. I think there were three episodes out. We watched all of those and then we watched couple of movies. Oh, we watched, um, oh, I should have put this in because this was funny, but we watched uh, Twilight Breaking Dawn with my dad. He like loves the Twilight series. It's really funny. And it was just the whole family. We were watching movies and I was snuggling with my little baby the entire time and just loving on him. That's everything you guys. Oh my gosh. I do have a rogue design day here that I don't know where it was meant to go in my planner. So we have that and then we have the clean stuff that got messed up. Um, but other than that, all my scripts that I had planned to use in the spread got used and I do want this to flatten because that's going to drive me nuts. The last thing I want to do is put some deco on the top of Massa because this um, collection has really cute deco. So I'm just gonna kind of just put them um, as I go, just randomly. These little like baby sharks are just really cute. I wanna use them. All right, and then, oh, also I need to put my little weekend banner down here. Don't wanna forget that. And then we really are done with the spread. I love the way this turned out. I love the idea of doing like keeping my Erin Condren as memory keeping. The hollow script is definitely pretty, but black would have also been really pretty. And so I don't know, I might try black at some point in a spread. This one was pretty and hollow just because it's like, there's just, it's so bright. It's such a fun collection, but um, black would have also worked. So I might try black in an upcoming spread. It would definitely be easier to read because you do have to like you know like move it around in the light but it's so pretty i hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me let me know what you think about 
talk through versus voiceover. I mean, to tell you the truth, I definitely could not do this for like most plan with me's because you have to be in a certain mood to like talk for hours randomly as you play stickers. But um, definitely let me know what you think. And I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me video and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.